covered. And it's cool because the ink that we use, it's called it's soft coal, which is SC, AL, which is average level, and PA, which is pronounced ash. That spells scalpa. So like we're bas basically putting inks of scalpa on you, and when you're done, we call you a scalpa. You're a scalpa now. And that's the culture that we've really created with people. It's like once they're, you know, it's funny too. Another thing that's really interesting is that, uh, you know, I talk to guys and, you know, they'll be going through so many struggles with balding. And, you know, I mean, listen, it's such an innovative product for them to show up at our front door for getting a hair tattoo. It's so new. You know, they've really got to be going through some struggles, right? I mean, to really give this a shot, you know, right. I mean, it's something that they really, I can really relate to them. But once they get it done, it's almost like they forget how they felt with no hair. I mean, how did you feel? Isn't that crazy though? Don't you, isn't it like an automatic, like all of a sudden you're like, it's um, like gone, it's, right? It, it, it wasn't that I was necessarily struggling because I've never been, um, I mean, I've been bicking my head for 20 years, you know, since high school, I just, fuck it, run it. But it, 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 it softened my persona. Like it's not as aggressive. I'm not as like American History X without right. a hat on. Now I'm like a professional, you know, yeah. and then like, yeah. It really does. It, it just it changes your persona and your energy in yeah. like society. Like yeah, it's like it's, it's literally like like a, like a one blade. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, like, like. it's like a buzz cut with perfect edges. You know, and like I would go to a barber to get perfect edges when I had the full hairline. Like that was I would. That's why I went to a barber was to get edged up, edge up my beard, edge up my edges, and, and just, now I just edge it myself, and it's perfect. And you know, I mean, you know, for our artists, you know, the people that come up, come on board, I mean. In life, you don't usually get, you know, to do something that you love. It's just the reality. You know, you're working a job, you're doing what you're doing. And for someone to become a part of this, you know, there's a you get to impact someone's life so differently, you know. And it's such a cool thing to be able to, you know, and reap those benefits of being able to have a skill. I mean, once you learn this, you, I mean, it's something that you'll never ever not know, you know, it's something that you yeah. always carry. It's always something that you can always have as a back, you know, you know, I mean, listen, if everything went to, to SHIT at the end of all of this, right. And with my business, I know I can go to a corner, put a sign in the front saying hair tattoo and start changing people's lives. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a trade now, you know, so it's really, it's a really cool, um, endeavor, you know, it's awesome. Very cool. Yeah. Um, all right, Scalpa's Aesthetics in the building. We got Mr. Bryce Cleveland, founder and CEO of the company. To our listeners um, out there, should we give away one? You want to give away do one? It. Let's do it. So who's out there? You, who's going? Who's? <laughs> do you have to be a certain percentage of, of, of hair loss? Or we got what's you. a perfect? We, somebody who's got the horseshoe. You know, you're a guy that's just where you know you just you 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 get. You know, self-conscious about you know people looking at the back of your head. You're the guy that shaves your head all the time because you wanted that horseshoe to go away. Yeah. We will literally make you look 15, 10, 15 years younger overnight. Yo, I got a question. Yeah. Um, someone who who's who's been uh, documented quite a bit, uh, kept up on in in, in the uh, in mainstream media, LeBron James. Yep. Who's had. Uh, I don't know. He, he's he. Everyone's talked about it. He's had a hairline one day, and then the next day it's it's back there. And then the uh, you know on Sunday, you know, playing against the Celtics, he got a perfect hairline. I mean, what's yeah. going on with that? I know. I I, I see it, and I see, he's actually got a hair transplant because he's yeah. got a scar now. So he did that, um, and it didn't take just like usual. I mean, he'll have to get more and more and more, and he's not a good candidate for it. You know, a hair transplant for someone who has more hair and they don't really need a hair transplant, get it. So if someone has the type of balding he has, it just won't work. So, yeah. I mean, he needs to, he definitely needs to he, hit he, us up. He needs to give a scalp <laughs> says a call. He, yeah, I mean, he, he looks, it would, it would look perfect on him. I know. He's not ready to, he's not ready though. He's, he's trying to hold on to that, yeah. to that youth. Yeah. You know, he just, you know, maybe he just doesn't know. We'll try to get a hold of him. Maybe, maybe uh, he'll be one of your clients in the future.